Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create a full screen search bar for your website. So here we can see we have this uh, web page and we have this search input field over here. Now if I click on the search box, we can see that we have a full screen search box displayed over here. And you can go ahead and type whatever you want over here. And then you also have this close button and if I click on that, the search box disappears. So this is what we're going to design in this video. Let's get started. Alright, here I have created this folder called full screen search and I just opened it with VS Code. Now let's create an HTML file. So let's click on new file and I'll just name it index.html. And we also need to have a CSS file. So I'll just create a new file and I'll just name it style.css. And then we need to have a JavaScript file. So let's create a new file and I'll just name it main.js. Alright, let's start with the index.html file and in VS Code you have a shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code and here I'll just link our CSS file so I'll just type link and press tab and in the href I'll just type style.css and I'll also link our JavaScript file over here so I'll just type script colon src and press tab and here in the src I'll just type main.js Now let's start by creating a header so I'll just type header and in the header we need to have a logo on the left and the search box on the right. So let's create a division with a class of logo and here I'll just type lb dot. Now let's create a division with a class of search container and in that we will have the search box. So for that I'll just create a division with a class of search box and in the search box I'll just have a form. Now in the form we will have an input field and uh, for the placeholder I'll just type search here. And if you go back to our design, we can see that we also have an icon over here. So for this icon, we will use font awesome icons. So just Google for font awesome 5 CDN and you will find this link of cdnjs.com. So let's go to the link and I'll just copy this link from here, all.min.css. And let's go back and paste it in the head section. So I'll just paste it over here. Right now in this form, we will also add an icon for search. And here I'm in fontawesome.com website and let's search for the search icon. And let's click on this icon and let's click on this code to copy it. And uh, I'll just paste it over here inside the form. Now below the header, I'll just create a couple of paragraphs. So I'll just create a P tag and here I'll just type lorem 100 and press tab. And here we can see we have 100 words of random text. I'll just copy this and paste it a couple more times. All right, now let's open this in our browser. So I have this extension called live server installed in VS Code. So you can just install this and uh, once you do that, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And here you can see this is how our website looks right now. Now let's style this using CSS. So let's go back and let's go to our style.css file. First of all, let's style the header. So I'll just type header and for the header, we will set a display of flex so that the logo and the search box will be one next to the other. Now we want this logo to be on this left side and this uh, search box to be on the right side. So for that you can just type justify content and set it to space between. Now let's set a maximum width to this header. So let's type max width and I'll just set it to 800 pixels. And we'll also bring it to the center. So let's type margin zero for top and bottom and for left and right we will type auto. Let's also set the font family to roboto. So I'll just type font family roboto sans serif. And we'll also add a padding of 8 pixels. Alright, that's it with the styling of the header. Now let's style this logo. So for the logo, we have a class of logo. So let's target that. So here I'll just type header logo. And we'll set the font size to 36 pixels. And we'll also set the font weight to 900. Alright, that's it with the logo. Now let's style this search box. So first of all, let's target this input field. So I'll just type search container input and we'll set the font size to 16 pixels. And we'll also set a padding of 16 pixels top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right. And let's also have rounded corners. So for that, I'll just type border radius and we'll just set it to four pixels. And let's also remove this border. So for that, I'll just type border and set it to none and now if you click on this search box we can see that we have this outline so we'll remove that as well so let's go back and let's type search container input 
colon focus and here we'll just type outline and set it to none now if we click on this input field we can see that we don't have the outline now let's set a background color to this input field so let's go back and here in the input I'll just type background and we'll set the background to EF 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 All right here is our input field All right now the next thing we need to do is we need to position this icon inside this input field so for that let's go back and let's set the position of the form to relative so here we can see we have this form and in that we have the input field and also the search icon so let's set the position of this form to relative so here I'll just type search container form and position relative and now let's style the search icon now we will add the search icon inside a division so let's create a division with the class of search icon and I'll just move this icon inside this division right now let's style this search icon division so let's go back and let's type search container search icon and we'll set the position to absolute now this search icon will be positioned relative to the form so now if we go back we can see that the search icon is inside the input field now let's set the left and the top position so let's go back and let's type top of 50% and now we can see that it starts from 50% mark so we have to move it up a little bit so for that we can just type transform translate y and set it to negative 50% and now we can see that it is exactly in the center now let's add a left position so I'll just type left 16 pixels and we'll also set the color of the text to light gray now here we can see because of this icon we need to have more space over here on the left so let's go to the input field and here we'll just type padding left and we'll set the left padding to 48 pixels and that looks all right all right now let's add some styles to these paragraphs so let's go back and here I'll just type P and we'll set the font size to 16 pixels and the line height to 2 we'll also set the font family to Roboto sans serif and we'll set the max width to 800 pixels and we'll also bring it to the center so I'll just type margin 0 auto and we'll also add a margin top of 32 pixels All right now the next thing we will do is we will add a class called active to this search container now when we have the active class inside the search container we will set it as full screen so if you go back to our design we can see when we click on this we have an active class to this search container and for the active class we have added these styles and now when we click on this close button the active class is removed and then we have this normal search box so let's go back and here I'll just type search container dot active and here you have to make sure that you don't have any space between these two classes because we want to have these two classes in the same division so let's go back to our HTML and here in the search container I'll just add a class of active and now let's go back and uh, let's set the position to fixed when we have the active class and we'll set the height to 100 viewport height and the width to 100% and we'll also set a background color of dark gray and we'll set the top position to 0 and the left position to 0 and we'll also add a Z index of 200 so that it stays above all the other elements now let's go back and here we can see we have these styles for the active class now let's also style this uh, search box and bring it to the center so let's go back and here I'll just type search container dot active and when we have the active class then uh, we will style the search box and uh, here we will type position fixed and we'll set the top position to 50% and the left position to 50% and now we can see it starts from the 50% mark now we also have to move it 50% to the left and to the top so let's type transform translate and negative 50% for the X and negative 50% for the Y right now we can see it is exactly in the center we'll also set the width to 80% of the screen so let's type width and I'll just set it to 80% and we also have to set the width of the input field so let's go back and here I'll just type search container dot active input and we'll set the width to 100% of the parent and now we can see that we have more width than required so if you go back we can see that uh, here in uh, the input we have added this padding and the padding is also added to the width so to fix that you have to type box sizing and set it to border box 
and now we can see we have the correct width. The next thing we need to do is we need to add a close button over here. So let's go back to the HTML and here after the paragraph, I just create a division with a class of search close button. And here we'll just add a font or some icon. So I'll just copy this from here and uh, I'll just paste it over here. And I'll just change this to FA times. This is the code for close icon in Font Awesome. Now let's go back to our styled CSS file and let's style this. So here I'll just type search close button and we'll set the position to fixed and we'll set the top position to 32 pixels and the right position to 48 pixels. We'll also have a Z index of 200. And now we can see we have this close button over here. Let's set the color of the text to light gray and we'll set the font size to 36 pixels and we'll also set the cursor to pointer so now when we hover over this we have this pointer now we want to display this close icon only when we are on a full screen search mode so let's go back and uh, we'll set the display to none and we will set the display back to block using javascript all right that's it with our css now let's go back to our html and let's remove this active class from here inside the search container. All right, now let's write some JavaScript to add and remove the active class from the search container. So let's go back. And uh, in the HTML, we have already linked our JavaScript file over here. Now we need to reference some of these HTML elements from here. So we need to reference the search close button and we need to reference this input field. And we also need to reference this search container because we need to add the active class to the search container. So let's go to our main.js file and uh, let's type const and I'll just name this search input and we'll just set it to document dot query selector and here we need to type search container input and the next thing we need to reference is the search container so let's type const search container equals document dot query selector search container and then we also need to reference the close button so let's type const search close button equals document dot query selector search close button All right now let's add an event listener to this search input so let's type search input dot add event listener and we will listen for the click event and here i'll just create an arrow function now when we click on this input field we need to add the active class to this search container so here we will just type search container dot class list dot add and here i'll just type active and let's go back to our styled CSS file and uh, in the search container, I'll also add a transition so that we will have smooth animation. So here I'll just type search container and I'll just type transition of all to 500 milliseconds ease. All right, let's go back and uh, now when we click on this close button, we need to remove the active class from the search container. So let's type search close button dot add event listener and we will type click and let's create an arrow function and let's type search container dot class list dot remove active now if you go back to our style CSS file we can see that for the close button we have set a display of none so we have to change the display back to block in our JavaScript so let's go back and here I'll just type search close button dot style dot display equals block and I'll just copy this line of code from here and paste it down here and here I'll just type none. Now when we click on this close button, we also want to remove the text that we had in the input field. So let's type search input dot value and we'll just set it to blank. All right, now let's go back to our design and let's see whether everything works all right. So let's click on this input field. And now we can see we have the search box displayed over here in full screen. And if you click on this close button, it goes back. So everything is working all right. So that's basically how you create a full screen search box for your website. Now in the next video, I'll show you how to add this full screen search box to your blogger website. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.
Thank you.